Okay, let's go ahead and get started then. Um, all right, uh, so the rundown. Not a lot has changed. We have the we have new we have updates of asset HTTP and voice. Uh, voice has not had enough usage yet to know anything about it. Um, uh, asset HTTP is doing reasonably well. Um, if I had to bet on which one was going to be our next promotion, it would be that one. Um, we just put out another maintenance update, a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, that one, new too, is so brand new that we can't draw any conclusions about it yet. Um, uh, Alex Ivy, the 64-bit viewer, uh, we have integrated the last functional component, which is the new updater. Uh, and it's going through a round of QA. It turned out that we needed a change to the viewer version manager, the server-side component that tells viewers when to update um, in order to support uh, the ability to tell some tell a a, a viewer um, your you've downloaded a 64-bit viewer and you need the 32-bit viewer or the other way around. Um, and uh, it will it will attempt to do that um, to get everybody onto the best possible viewer for their platform. Um, we'll see whether that, how well that works out, but it, it, that is that is the intent. And we put a fair amount of effort into it. Uh, turns out we needed, a, <laughs> we hadn't anticipated the need to tell people to change platforms when we did the version manager the first time. So we've had to make a change to, to do that. That's being tested even as we speak. And I um, expect it will be ready early next week, at which point we will have uh, a new project viewer update. And then we'll um, simultaneously build a release candidate and start that going through a, a, a hardcore round of QA, um, and when we get tired of waiting for the QA or when it's done, we'll, we'll uh, put out that as a release kit, unless something drastic happens with the, with the Project Viewer update, but uh, that would surprise me. So, um, so uh, look forward to that. And... Jumping ahead to Nikki's question down at the bottom of the page, um, as soon as we put that out as a release candidate, we'll begin updating the instructions on the wiki page for how to how to build uh, uh, in the new in the sixty four bit. Um, was that our Nikki or the other Nikki? It was Nikki Perrion. Oh, okay. According to the wiki, um, yeah, <laughs> Nikki is unfortunately not sufficient. Um, so, uh, fingers crossed, everybody, you know, everybody think good thoughts, and hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll have that out in a larger number of people's hands real soon now. Um, the 360 snapshot viewer is cranking right along, um, and I, we have a little problem to fix on getting the Mac build done, but as soon as that's working... Uh, we should have an, a project viewer update for that. The functional difference at this point is that instead of saving uh, the snapshot, the 360 snapshot, as a zip file full of images that you have to process to look at or do anything with, uh, it now saves a single equirectangular image, which is what all the websites that do these things expect. Um, and it's got all the metadata in it about where it was taken and all that good stuff. So, um, very cool. Uh, and then there are a few more functional things to be done in that project viewer before we'll be ready. But we'll have a, an up-to-date version of that viewer out um, hopefully next week. Um, so, that's that's really cool. Very excited about that. Uh it will make it much easier to get those um, get those cool images of Second Life out there in the world. Okay, um, so questions about the, the viewer train. 
Uh, yeah, the, it is it, right. The we are going to still support 32-bit Windows systems because there are enough of them that we don't really have any choice. Um, I will repeat for the benefit of anybody who hears this video and anybody who wants to tell anybody who doesn't hear this video, um, our statistics are uh, extremely are dramatic. Um, 32-bit systems crash enormously more than 64-bit systems, um, even if you're running the 32-bit viewer, in fact. I, I, think, I think we um, told you that, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's, huge. Um, it's if you have a computer that's capable of running a 64-bit application, um, upgrade your software. Um, there are a couple of video cards, video GPU systems that um, we can't support under 64-bit on Windows. And so even if you're otherwise 64-bit capable, it will push you back to the 32-bit viewer if you have those GPUs. Um, because that's the only way we can make them work at all. Um, so, uh, But if you can run the 64-bit viewer, do it. Um, so, uh, and you know, that, 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 that system is working pretty well. Um, okay. So on to the, the hot topic of the day. Anything else before I get to the hot topic of the day? Okay. Um, so a couple of people have asked me about this and I asked Worley to stick it on the agenda. So. Will Linden Lab allow a third-party viewer with end-to-end -end encrypted chat? Um, uh, I I don't I don't. First of all, I don't really want to get into being heavy-handed about this, one way or the other. Um, I do think that it's a spectacularly bad idea, and I very, very strongly discourage you from from doing it. And I'll tell you why. Um, and we can talk about, uh, about you know, what the implications of all this are. Um, as, as I'm sure you all know, at one time, there was a uh, an implementation of this out there. It, speaking as a former security geek, it, it actually wasn't very secure, but We'll we'll skip that for a moment uh, because we never made any attempt to 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 defeat the what there was. Um, whether or not we could have is an interesting question, but it's academic. Um, the um, that caused a lot of problems. Um, it caused a lot of problems for users, and it caused annoying headaches for us. And the annoying headaches for us were that we would get abuse reports um, of and support complaints of various kinds, but generally abuse reports, saying so-and-so is phishing, or so-and-so is harassing people, or so-and-so is threatening me, or so-and-so is pretending to be me, or whatever it was, right? All sorts of things that you would normally report as uh, as an abuse report against another resident. And unfortunately, we all know that there are residents um, who enjoy doing things that generate abuse reports. Um, and we would be unable to act on them because we couldn't demonstrate, we couldn't prove that anything had actually happened because people were complaining about something that had happened in an encrypted chat session. Um, and so we were completely unable to act on them uh, and people got angry that we couldn't do anything about it. Um, and it, it became kind of this big negative thing. Um,
Uh, no, uh, it is not. It is not true that the abusing chat. Um, well, first of all, we we won't accept an image as the only as the only evidence of anything having happened. Um, it's it's super helpful to have the images. It helps us locate where things were it helps us to know what to look for that kind of thing but it's uh it, it is by itself never sufficient evidence because images can be can be faked right um what we do use as evidence when we when we get a complaint about something that has happened in chat is we go and look at the chat at the time that it was told that we were told it occurred um and there are a couple of things to say about that. Um, that right, and if it's if what we see in the in the chat log is is gobbledygook, then we can't confirm that anything happened, right? And therefore, we can't act on it. Right <laughs> there, you go. Um, so uh, uh, so. So we wouldn't act on it, and then people would be upset because we weren't acting on it, right? This this person is, we've abuse reported this person a dozen times, and they're still doing it, and so far. Um, uh, and that that's, that's a big problem. Um, and I would really, really rather not get back into that problem. And so if... If you think that there's a mechanism by which you can provide a feature um, that gives people some level of comfort, but which avoids the problem I just described, um, our, that is, our inability to see it. And I don't mean avoids it by just telling users, if you use encrypted chat, you're out of luck, because that didn't work last time, and it's not really sufficient for the future either. Um, so, uh, well, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to touch the question of whether or not, um, we might ever need to respond to a subpoena. Um, I, that's, that's way outside my, uh, my area of competence. Um. So, uh, um, so um, just to, to talk just a little bit about, about Linden Lab looking at chat logs, I, I have described what it is you know, we, we use looking at chat logs for. We, we go in to confirm that something has happened. Um, we don't go in and just spend time browsing in chat logs. Uh, we look at uh, a narrow time window, right, you know, only when there is a reason to look there. Um, so, for example, if we, if we see um, uh, a whole bunch of uh, transactions that are that are triggering one of our fraud detection algorithms, uh, we might go and look at the places that those transactions are occurring and see if anybody's saying anything there that that is related to that. Um, we might, if someone files an abuse report claiming that so and so is, uh, you know, doing something that's against the the terms of service or the community guidelines, um, we might go have a look at that to confirm whether or not they really were saying the things that it has been claimed they were saying. Um, we, we don't look at a very, at very much. Uh, in fact, the, the tools that are, are used to look at it will only show you a narrow time window. And if you want to extend that time window further back, um, that's an extra step you have to take. And the fact that you took it is logged. In fact, the fact that you looked at anything is logged. Who it was that looked at it and what they looked at is all logged. Um, this is not something that just any Linden can do. You have to be one of the designated people who's empowered to look at chat logs. Um, doesn't include me, for example. Um, and 
you know, you have to, you, you very emphatically um, are, um, it is made clear to you very emphatically before you are, are empowered to do this that you're responsible for keeping what you see private except to the extent that you need to use it to do the job you're in there to do. Um, and uh, not doing so would be uh, a, a career-limiting move. Uh, so um, it, it's a big deal. I mean, we don't we don't look at at one line in in ten million of the of the of the chat conversations, and literally, I'm I'm not exaggerating even slightly. Um, it is not something we spend time doing. Uh, you you have to you have to have a reason. You have to be somebody who's supposed to be doing that. Um, and you have to look at only what you need to look at to do your to do your job, um, and then even then you're not supposed to talk about it if, unless there's unless it's essential to, to to doing your job to communicate something about it, and even then never publicly. Um, so um, I you know I have no idea whether there's any way we can ever make anybody more comfortable with the fact that we're capable of looking at chat logs. Um, I don't think anything you say is going to change the minds of those well, who uh, truly want that privacy. Well, uh, you know, I I understand that, and, um, and they should choose a more secure communication channel. There are, well, that's what we've said, yes. There are, there, there are services out there, and we are not it. Yeah, and um, and we don't really intend to become it. That's not where, not what we're uh, in the business to do. Um, so, um, so that's where we are. Uh, I would. Uh, I hesitate to say we absolutely forbid a viewer to to attempt to provide this. Um, I, uh, it would it would not be um, something we would look favorably on. And you know um, it, it's liable to, to uh, and, and and it, we wouldn't go to any lengths to to allow it to you know to to en en enable it if it turns out like the last time it was taking advantage of uh, of a basically a, a hunk of payload that we never intended to carry and we we eventually closed that loophole but uh, Well, for the record, Firestorm, or at least myself, have no intention of pursuing OTR. Right. If we did, we uh, would have had it long ago. It's not really a priority. Right, but the the subject came up, so I wanted to clear the air yeah. about it, and, and it's my this is my attempt to do that. So I think that's what I wanted to say about it. Um, so the floor is open on this or other subjects. Um, I, we have not put any more effort into missing offline group notice. Um, stuff lately. Uh, well, the... Email, uh, we're not even going to try to look at any issues with whether or not things are being delivered as email until after we've gotten through our, our process of cleaning up the email um, uh, address quality. And we are working on that. We're trying to make progress on that. Um, Uh, 
um, trying to to give us a repro or specific instances at a specific time for the for notices that have gone missing might be helpful. Um, it's you know looking for a black cat that may or may not be there in the dark is is, is pretty hard. It's true. I see Kadaz updates in Jira every week. Yeah, okay. we just have not had the bandwidth to to focus in on this issue again. Right. The Wheel of Fortune will spin again. We'll get there. Text, text chat and group chat has been quite laggy. Uh, I've seen instances of that occasionally. Um, don't really have any any thoughts on what that might be. Have we had the opportunity to look at physics limitation increases? Uh, we have been doing some looking at um, simulator performance in general, um, but right now our big focus is on getting um, our operating systems updated, which also means improving the tools, which also, in, and in some cases, improving the versions of various libraries that we're using. Um, it is my hope that we will get some performance benefit from all of that, and we're we're looking hard at performance things in general. Um, we have not until we've gotten through that process. We're not going to look. Uh, we don't. We don't plan to look at um, bumping any of the limits, the existing limits up. What we will do is once we're done, we'll be doing a ra another round of. Look at all the limits. See if there are any that we think we've got headroom in that we can that we can move, and then of course look at look at ones that we we might have to do work to increase. Um, I have not the the user agent thing. Yeah, so you know, there there one of the things that's a really um, I assume that most of you know what Beck is referring to the the um, a bunch of the Shoutcast and other streaming services um, scripts uh, that were. That were have been broken by the by the release candidate that's on the Magnum channel right now, um, and that was actually because we upgraded our HTTP library. Um, we didn't do we didn't break them on purpose, um, but you know one of the things that happens here regularly uh, is that we'll get a report that such and such has stopped working. And we'll go and look at what it was, and the, our first reaction is, "How did that ever work?" Um, and <laughs> and you mean, you mean like cash? Uh, well, uh, you know, it's just it's it's just astonishing. Um, so that never should have worked. What they what the what they were doing was. Something that was that never ever should have worked, and it's 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 actually really distressing to me that it ever did. Um, <laughs> um, and I'm I'm in the process of writing unit tests to make sure that similar hacks will never work in the future. Um, so, uh, however, in the I am also working on an enhancement that will let people put the magic keywords they need to into user agent headers, so that um, so that they'll be able to interface with obnoxious web services that care about what's in the user agent header, which is really dumb. But there you go. Um, 
So we'll find a way that to, to provide a feature that will allow the scripts to be modified so that they work again. It will definitely not ever work the way it is. We will not attempt to do a change that adjusts for it in a back, backwards compatible way. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, I, it was it was a, a really long time, and I was really distressed to realize that not only was this very very ugly hack that never ever should have worked. Uh, not only did it work, but it, it was documented for years, and nobody here ever noticed that fact. And if we had, we would have made it not work. But in any event, we're working on a way to get that back online. And in fact, um, I I personally am working on that. So uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have an update next week where where. Uh, and we'll, we'll update the documentation on how to fix those scripts. Um, well, TP hammers aren't going to go bye-bye. They just won't hammer as fast anymore. <laughs> um, so... Uh, so that's that's where those issues are. Uh, send an email, Kada. Um, I don't. I don't want to remember. I don't want to have to remember to do it. It's not something I can do while I'm sitting here talking. The correct answer is contact support, but you could even file a Jira. Although yeah. contact support. Yeah. Um, so just really quickly, uh, Firestorm is in um, feature mode now, so we're hoping, I'm hoping to have a release the week of the 19th. However, just a quick reminder, um, let me get my calendar here. The 19th is the Jail and Bail for which we had a bunch of Lindens who, many of whom are here, volunteered to go to jail. So I just wanted to throw that out as a reminder. Okay. Um. Oh, I can. <laughs> I'm going to be in jail too, actually. So we're all in the same <laughs> boat. <laughs> um. Just uh. It, it, not that it's a not that it's even slightly an urgent issue. Um, after Asset HTTP is promoted, we will attempt to come up with a schedule for when we're going to remove that would simulator cool. support for the old UDP path that it replaces. Um, and uh, we'll we'll let you know what that is um, at some future meeting. Uh, we will. As usual, we'll try not to make it during one of the very busy, um, difficult periods. So there's, at this point, there's a good chance that we won't withdraw support for that until after the new year or something. Because um, I, I don't want to make it a short window, and I, it's not generally a good idea to be making big changes that I, break I backwards to do compatibility. These things right before winter break, actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then disappear for <laughs> yeah. two weeks. The day before. Right. Yes, that would be perfect. And then the if Firestorm, I, I am going on vacation on the 26th. Can we hold <laughs> off with your release until then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm very happy to go shopping uh, sometimes, as long as somebody else does the, does the helps with the shopping mm -hmm. part. Oh, no, the paying, I'll do. Uh, all right. Um, I think that totally botched the um, the question I had for you. Uh, is when estate managers do bans from regions, uh, active bans. Um, that is, you add someone to the, to the blocked list. Yes. Uh, right. Well, to the estate ban list, yes. And, right. Uh, it, but it shows who banned them. 
Is there any way we can get some anonymity in, in that? So, I mean, we use I a bot. Try to use a bot that way. It, because, yeah, okay, so here's the thing. I totally hear where you're coming from. Because the thing is, as soon as you uh, ban somebody with your account, you become potentially a target to that person and their griefer group that they're associated with. And yes. um, so it's much easier or better if you can have you've been banned period the end and not actually say by who so we use we try to use the bot in the gateway um not sure if they're still using that but that way it's sort of anonymous and you know good luck griefing the bot it, like it doesn't care well one thing i've noticed more and more and it's been around for a while is if any any person or thing is is tied to the group these bots that are getting banned uh, that we've we've banned some bots in the past, and they go into your user group and spam your everybody in all of your user groups. Um, they spam the groups that is attached to that account, whether it be a bot or an actual avatar account. Uh, is there actually? If, yeah, is there actually a reason why you are identifying who issued the ban? I'm not entire. So, I think we need to look into it. Um, yeah. But is there a Jira for this? No Jira, Actually, no promise. That does not like there's a Jira. Actually, there may be. I'm sure there must be. <laughs> what I expect to sure. hear is really say, "Oh yeah, there was one." Let me go look. <laughs> <laughs> um, while while Whirly is looking, um, yes, we. It's a good one, we, Yeah. Well. We'll definitely need a, a Jira to work from on this, but okay. please, you know, I'll I'll try to lay it out a, a little bit. Please be very specific about where and to whom and under what circumstances any given piece of information is being displayed. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, you know, don't just say they find out. How do they find out? And exactly what? You know, box are they looking at when they find out? Right? Um, screenshots are wonderful. On our viewer, of course. I can I can run some tests. Um, that would be great. Um, and, uh, because I believe it's just an automatic toast. It's a system message sent via toast to the avatar being banned. So, it, cause it right. the kind of, sound... it's not in local, it's in toast. So right, it sounds familiar. Yeah, okay. if there's not a use case or a specific reason why um, the server identifies who banned you, then maybe it'd be a good idea just to uh, make that anonymous. I will need to dig into some need to dig into previous documents. And the same when you eject and... from a group too. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, we gotta yes. we gotta so, look at the use cases. Give us a feature request. We're gonna carefully review and consider it on a Wednesday. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a problem. I just wanted to bring it up in forum, in public forum, just to see what everybody thought and if it would be worth putting into a JIRA, because I know that some people have had some really catastrophic cases with uh, these bots um, infiltrating their groups um, and lots of other things going on. So... Uh, oh, you'd be shocked at the things people think are worthy of putting into a Jira. So yeah, some of the is is good, <laughs> right? So okay. so so some of the reason we keep track of who did things is so that in in group situations, if you've got multiple man, you're trying to work around right. the multiple manager problem, right? You've got multiple estate managers, you've got multiple group managers. Um, you you need to know. You know, so and so well, got so and so got to the owner right. of the group. So so and so got got well. Owner is a uh, shaky. Um, I don't think we want to label, be designing but, this feature right now. But yeah. I think the exercise of writing the Jira and then getting input on it from other people who are interested in that will force 
you and us to to analyze the different cases and are, are you challenging me yeah. to find estate owners who will vote for this <laughs> absolutely not what i'm challenging you to do is to think through the request so that i have to do less work harana can you send me the when after you filed that <laughs> send me the uh your number please <laughs> Sure thing. Uh, I was I was going to send it to uh, Worley, but I'll go ahead and send it to. Oh, you. really? Yeah. Yeah, I've got it on my friends list, but I don't have you yet. So. Uh, it it has been claimed that one of these days, real soon, we'll be getting an up upgrade to our Jira, and um, I may reopen the make the vote disappear field disappear again, uh, just because we we really don't pay even the slightest bit of attention. Yeah. To um, but if it makes you feel better to vote on it, that's fine. <laughs> See, I have, I have a problem right now where um, I don't have a cause at the moment because my last cause has been addressed. Thank you. There you um, go. So I'm looking for a new cause. Now, it could okay. be on, you know, having some weight to voting for Jira. <laughs> it won't be. It's up in the air at the moment. Don't, don't, don't pick that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Oz says, it's our Jira. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Um, the uh by the way, the, the region uh avatar limit increases are well at least on my mainland, uh is working very smoothly. Uh yeah, is, congrats is the lab, on that. Yeah, is, is the lab continuing on the same path they're they're doing now? We've we've been doing uh, we've been doing a bunch of looking at at um, you know the what it is that makes that what resources we run out of and where the impact is when when there are large numbers of avatars. And Let's we, do more script time next. <laughs> well, like I said, right now we're 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 doing like major major infrastructure upgrades um, and. That means we we don't have nearly as much time available for for tweaking other things, but uh, but we'll hopefully we'll get through that over the next few months. Yeah. So we were shooting for short. Any other topics? Yeah, yeah I'm I'm done. I got to go. I'm late. <laughs> Drive carefully. Yeah. A tremendous hit as in a hit on performance or a tremendous hit as in like everybody loves it? <laughs> Both. There's a bit of vagueness uh, going on there. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, I, I don't. I, I don't have a new bear. I think Lyndon should bring back that requirement that all Lyndons have to learn to make a bear. Uh, it's 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 on the things you should do when you get hired list, but yes. not everybody does. It should be a requirement. I'm I'm waiting until the animated objects yes that come out that and then I'll, really I'll, cool. I'll uh I'll think about making it. A new animated mesh bear, um, but I'm going to have to learn how to do mesh as Good well. Good luck with that. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, are we out of topics? I think that's all. I've Sounds got. like Ready, it. Ready, set, go. Awesome. Okay. Have a great weekend, everybody. Oh, I gotta go to this stupid kiosk thing. All right, I'm gone. Bye. Yeah.